Hi everyone, Sabrina here and today I am doing, well, I'm partaking in a reader -son for June so yay me, actually planning my TBR a little bit. The reader -son in question is the Studio Ghibli reader -son. They have an Instagram and a Twitter and a Discord channel. I will leave all the links down below for you. It's hosted by Rachel who has come up with a set of prompts for a few of the Ghibli films and you can do it like a bingo or you can do it based on each film it's very much pick and choose what you want to do which is perfect because I'm really in a sort of whatever mode when it comes to reading in the mode so there we go there are loads of hosts of this readathon so we've got Christina Severin, Ginger snapper Monique, The Roomies Digest, Nahoma Mai's Library uh, Nicola Bonbon, Nihiri Reedy Reads, uh, Noel Seven Pages and Rachel herself. So you can go and find any of those people. Again, it'll all be in the Discord. So you go, once you sign up to the Discord, you've got access to the whole lot, which means you have to read the rules first, which I quite liked actually, reading the rules, clicking that you've read the rules, and then you get access to the Discord. That's really cool. So I like that aspect. And like I say, you can choose to either do like a bingo, but bingo based on the bingo card that's been created, or you can do three of the prompts for one of the Studio Ghibli films. There's a book group that they're going to read, which is House Moving Castle by Dana Wynne Jones. And I'm really actually quite surprised that I don't have a copy of it. And then I've wondered, actually, do I not have a copy of it because I don't like the latest covers? So that might have to be a charity shop rummage because I like the older covers. But that's the group book. We're going to be watching Ghibli films as well. Unfortunately, it's on American time at the moment. So that's 1.30 in the morning for me, which is a little bit early or a little bit late, depending on your point of view. So, um... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that there might be something a bit balanced for this side of the, the water, as it were. So I don't know if anybody is going to be doing that. Obviously, it's day one of the readathon, so we'll have to see. But there's the chats on the Discord and all that, so I'm not going to miss out. There's plenty I can go and do instead. There are reading buddies you can team up with. There's going to be reading sprints, you know, all the stuff that goes in a readathon particularly if it's on Discord, which is kind of cool. So I've decided I'm going to focus on one film, but I've picked a film based on the prompts by the books that I actually have that I need to read. So that was my way around it. So I've picked Kiki's Delivery Service, which I really, really love. It's a very sweet little film about a young girl setting out on her life. She's 13, it's the age that witches go off to a town to set up their own trade and learn what it's like to be independent from their family. And I really like it. It's, it's it's very sweet, very gentle, lovely songs in it. And even the soundtrack's gorgeous, but then it's a Ghibli film. The soundtrack is always gorgeous. But it also tackles things like depression and just identity and finding yourself and being who you feel you should be, which I really like. So the first prompt for Kiki's Delivery Service is at long last TBR and the quote, which is really sweet, Gigi, I've decided I'm leaving tonight. So for that prompt, I've decided I'm going to read the Dragon of Jin Shayang by K.S. Vilioso. Um, this is the third book in the Bitch Queen Chronicles. I love the series so much and this is like the one. This is the final one. It came out last month. I haven't quite got around to reading it yet because look at the size of this book. I really didn't fancy carrying a massive book on the uh, bus, <laughs> particularly due to the weather. I mean, May's weather was rubbish, so little books were my thing last month. So I'm hoping to read this particularly as the weather seems to have turned into something nice. This is going to be my prompt for it. The next prompt is focus on mental health. The quote from the film is, I think something's wrong with me. I make friends and suddenly I can't bear to be with any of them. Seems like the other me, the cheerful and honest one, went away somewhere. So for that prompt, I'm going to read The Gilded Walls by Roshania Choksi. I've had to specially order this book because I can't seem to get hold of it anymore, which is a little frustrating. I do have the hardback edition with the deckled edges, which, okay, I'm not a fan of deckled edges, but this is gorgeous. Anyway, apparently this has a uh, mental health representation inside with some of the characters. I think there was a uh, post-traumatic stress disorder in here that is tackled. And I think there's autism representation in here as well. Anyway, I really want to read this. It's kind of gone quiet lately. This book is a series that people don't tend to talk about anymore. I've seen several booktubers that I really, really like talking about this book and loving it. And so I've wanted to read it. And the third one comes out later this year. So 
I decided now is the time, particularly if I want <laughs> all my covers to match. And then the third prompt for Kiki's delivery service is witches or magical elements. And the quote is, bless my hourglass, it's a real live witch, because obviously Kiki is a witch. I have got Spell Hacker by MK England. This came in via a donation into our school library and I checked out and made sure it wasn't the sequel to The Disasters, which I want to read. Uh, it's not, this is a standalone and I've decided I want this. I'm going to be reading it first. This deals around magic. So that ticks that prompt quite nicely. Like I say, I'm just going to do those three and then obviously the group book. So that's four books I'm going to do for this readathon. But if you wanted to do more, if you wanted to go for the bingo card, if you wanted to do the, a line or whole card, if you wanted to do more films, it's all on the Discord, all the prompts are there. There seems to be a lot of Hell's Moving Castle fans in the Discord already, <laughs> which is kind of cool. It's not my favourite Ghibli film, but I can see why people love it. I will leave all the information down below about the readathon so you can go and check it out. Like I say, it's the 1st of June today, so you can jump on board. It runs for the entire month. That's 30 wonderful days of Studio Ghibli, which is no bad thing. And there are other thing, fun things that they will be doing. So one of them is like drawing or dressing up as a Ghibli character and all that. So I have a few thoughts on that. Anyway, if you feel like joining the Studio Ghibli Readathon, go and check out all the information down below and do share your TBRs and with the hashtag ReadGhibli. Down below, let me know your favourite Ghibli film and why without being too spoilery. That would be lovely. And bonus points, your favourite song from a Ghibli film because some of them are absolutely gorgeous and really pick me up. I think my favourite is the end song from The Cat Returns. I have no idea what it is in Japanese, and I do love the original Japanese version, not the English uh, dub, but I really feel good after hearing that song, so there you go. As well as all the Ghibli information in the description box down below, you'll find all my social media MacGuffins, uh, so Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, Storygraph, uh, my book blog's down there, please go and check that out though, that's been very, very quiet lately. I will try and do some more stuff on that, no promises, you know what I'm like by now. There are booktubers that I think you should go and check out as well down there. And as always, thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Bye then.